Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. My name is Ali Dehban. I'm a Delphi developer since 15 years ago. Uh, today I'm going to talk about ChatGPT Wizard version 2, which is a plugin uh, for the idea of Delphi or Mercator Radis U at the time. Uh, this plugin allow you uh, to use uh, ChatGPT directly inside the ID. So, where to find? Here in my GitHub, there are 12 repositories, mm, except this one. There are um, 11 other repositories, maybe something is useful for you, may you have a look. But today, specifically, I'm going to talk about this one, ChatGPT Wizard. Uh, you can get, get a clone or download a zip of this plugin, the source code of the plugin. It is a BPL package. It is almost easiest type of packages or type of components to build and install in Delphi. Please, uh, before we're going further, uh, please feel free to open any issue if you faced any bug or any new feature you can suggest. Just open a new issue or get your fork and please feel free to contribute. Um, how to install here? Just open the project, uh, right click on the project, build, install. And done. I try to do not use any third party or any other components, extra components, extra library as is possible. Mostly uh, built in libraries in VCL have been used here. So you have to be able to easily build and install it. After you install, uh, this package you will see a new item in the main menu of the ID here ChatGPT which has three menu items uh, first of all you have to open the setting and some options uh, have default values but access key is the most important one at the moment uh, this plugin will consume the API of OpenAI uh, to be able to send requests and get a response you need this access key where is this access key uh, actually you have to make your own in your account setting on OpenAI official website uh, in this URL just follow this URL and you can uh, make a new access key for yourself, uh, beta.openai.com slash account slash api.keys. Just paste, copy and paste your access key here. Base URL is editable, but uh, it has the default value for now. You don't need to change it. These three options here are belongs to the API, it will change the model of processing uh, of questions. You can read about them in the online documentation, uh, but there are some defaults, which is somehow best practice, but you can change it. It doesn't matter. For now, I don't want to change anything here. There is a timeout, request timeout. Uh, in case there is any problem with network or 
uh, fireball or something like that. Uh, Friggin doesn't wait for in this case. Animated letter is another option, which is something about UI UX of this plugin. As you know, the website uh, doesn't show you the whole answer immediately. It'll write category character somehow animated. And this is, if you check checkbox, this plugin will act exactly like the website. Otherwise, it will copy the whole answer, which is coming from the API, directly in the memo into the editor. Uh, next section is the history. History will be enabled if you check the checkbox here. Uh, it will use a SQLite simple database. You just need to indicate the folder, just include this database. The empty database is accessible here in source code, uh, in resource, excuse me, in resources. There is a DB folder and a file inside that history.sdb. Just copy this file somewhere in your disk and it indicates the folder. This highlight color is just about uh, highlighting some uh, characters, uh, your keywords during the filtering and searching. When you are searching something, it will highlight your keywords. I will show you later, a bit later. Next section has three other uh, options. Call code formatter, which is uh, useful when you are using inline questions immediately after replacing the answer from API with the selected text inside the editor it can call the code formatter because sometimes uh, the received answer is not well formatted I prefer to use it but it's your choice right to left and right to left and it's obvious uh, in case, in case you need that, it's, it will change the UI to right to left. Um, another one, which is more important, is identifier. This CPT stands for uh, chat GPT, uncomfortable with this, but you can change it. This identifier is used in inline. Uh, questions when you're typing your question directly inside the editor between your source the codes you have to surround your question with two identifier in the left and right of your question in this way the plugin can figure out uh, which part of this text is the real question Next section is proxy setting, in case you need that. And there is another tab here, predefined questions, uh, which, is, which includes some predefined questions. These questions uh, will show as a menu, as a pop-up menu of class view. I will show you later, but you need to define a caption, which will be a caption of menu item and a class specific question. You can select one class, one of your classes, and send this command based on that class. I will show you later, but you will understand how it works. Okay. For the next registry key, those settings will be stored in a registry key here. And it is compatible with XP5 
from XC5 to uh, the Alexandria. Uh, I didn't test it with lower versions, but probably it work, works work fine with HC2 and above. Okay. How to use it? Let me show you how to use this. There are uh, three ways to use this plugin. First is a free text uh, question and answer, just a mode on form, uh, which is possible to use in maximum size, as you need more space. You easily you can ask your question. You have to wait a bit of time. Normally, it will answer less than 10 seconds, uh, but it depends on your depth. Actually, it depends on the complexity of your question. Okay, this is uh, the main form, which is a modal form and easy to use. Second one is a tackable form, like the project panel here or tool palette here, exactly like them. Okay. Open it. it has three tab page tab pages here. Let me show you how it works. <coughs> First uh, tab page is like the show modal form. Easily you can type your question and get your answer. Uh, but second one, second tab is a class view, which is very interesting. If you can remember those predefined questions will appear here. Uh, by changing the view or editor, it will load the class list. As you see here, if I click on the class name, I have the class definition and implementation of this class, which is extracted from the source code, class by class. Now, if I right click on the name of this class, I have those predefined questions here <laughs> and two more menu items. Let's say I need to change this class to uh, singleton form. Here we go. This is our question here. As you see, there is a class where a variable and class function, uh, function getting stance. Yeah, it works. Maybe sometimes it's not 100% perfect yet. Sometimes there are some issues, but it can really accelerate your job here. And there is, in case there is no good uh, question here, you can use this custom command type any other any other question you need at the moment and some converts convert to C sharp Java Python anything any other languages this convert to and custom command it's on these two menu items are uh, hard coded but the rest are dynamic you can change it in the setting with your desired questions to be faster and easy to use. If I double click on inside this memo to get more space, I can double click here. And it will be invisible. Or again, I can double click here. It will be visible again. Okay. Last tab page is the history. If it is enabled, it will uh, store 
or save any successful question uh, and uh, the exceptions too. So it could be a big list of uh, history items here if you need, in case you need a search option uh, which is not enabled by default because of uh, space uh, you can just, if you need search, you can just right click on this grid and check the search item it will, the search bar will appear here you can just easily type what you need let's say Deep. that highlight color in the setting will appear here if you can remember or anything or you can use false image in case you cannot remember the whole word you can use this false image string let's say CLS um, C CLS X CLS file or anything like that and in case you want to uh, delete any record here there is a delete button you can easily remove it will be removed without any question because it's not very critical but uh, in future because this plan of ChatGPT is not free forever. You can save some money and time using this history in future. I, I, I prefer to enable this, but it's your choice. And the last way to use this plugin is inline question. Let's say I need a new unit. The ident identifier is useful here. CPT, it could be anywhere in the source code. Using the identifier, it will realize where is the question. But in this case, I need a whole unit, so I removed previous codes. Let's say I need a class, uh, I need a full unit, Delphi. including a class to read uh, let's say write CSE files select you can use the short key control shift A control alt shift A or simply use the context menu here It will get the answer and replace it with the selected part of text, not whole text, just the selected part will be replaced. In this case, I should have a full unit ready to use. Here we go. Okay, sometimes, as you see, sometimes there are some issues something like this missing a space here but it's not very really important it will be better probably in future uh, I don't need this let me close that okay is there anything online questions it is Unicode support in case you need that okay we Yes, we almost covered everything. Uh, just feel free to contact me on GitHub, especially on GitHub. Open a new issue, uh, make a suggestion, or anything like that. And thank you for watching. Good luck with your new smart system.